Hello, my name is Matthew, and we're reading The Magic Mountain by Thomas Mann together, and we're getting towards the end of the month, and uh, I'm up to page 460, so I'm feeling pretty good about my reading progress for the month. Um, the middle of the book, I feel like, uh, to use a mountain analogy, about midway through the book, we we find almost a sheer rock face. Um, the, the story comes to a standstill in some parts, and we get these long conversations and digressions, nearly essays, um, where we, we have all of these characters in the sanitarium. We have our hero, Hans, and his cousin, Joachim, and other people that we're meeting, doctors, and we found that, we've already found that um, Hans is sick. Uh, he's, he has something minor has turned into something much more serious. Um, he has tuber tuberculosis, and he's now staying at the sanitarium a much longer, uh, a much longer stay than he initially anticipated. Uh, his three-week stay has now extended to, um, uh, at this point, a year. He's already been here. He's already been at the sanitarium for a year. And the conversations that he's having with these patients and the doctors have become more and more extended and philosophical and deeper and more profound. He's having a conversation with a doctor who is an artist have pages and pages of um, conversations and thoughts on the arts, oil, oil painting and watercolor and sculpture, and we, we move from topic to topic. We talk about um, science and medicine. There's um, an encyclopedist, and we have these encyclopedic uh, conversations, and the, st the story it feels like it's stopped, and now we're reading something that's very different. It, the, the meat of the book is, is starting to show its weight, and it can feel, uh, at, at this point, if uh, I'm past halfway through, but about halfway through, that intimidation factor can start ramping up um, as the narrative takes breaks, character development um, it goes a little bit to the side in order to have these conversations and or, or arguments, really interesting discussions uh, about a lot of things that I'm not going to be able to um, articulate very well in a, in a uh, quick video, but the the great thing is that so much of this has been set up. We, we know so many of the characters so well, really intimate uh, connections with a lot of these people now. We, we have an understanding of the time and um, this strange place, this sanitarium. W one thing that uh, as we get um, midway, uh, three quarters, two-thirds of the way through the book, um, this magical place, this kind of whimsical sanitarium where um, the, the, the goings-on, the doings of all the people here has a very light narrative touch, and it's ironic and humorous, but at a certain point, things happen that remind us, remind the readers, and also remind the characters, the people in this story, that all of the people that we are interacting with and listening to are sick, and they're dying, and they are not in a resort or a spa or a whimsical, magical place. Many of these people are in the last rooms that they'll ever live in. There are people that are dying. And this uh, very masterfully occurs um, t 
to the reader and also occurs to our hero Hans. Um, there's several, there's these moments where Hans has to reevaluate his situation and decide how he's going to be reacting. And we get to see a tremendous amount of character growth. Um, early on, he had these uh, protestations, or protests, of how he's only a visitor. He doesn't need to bother with the patients. He's not going to be doing the routines of the patients. And instead, he finds himself incredibly involved and deeply um, caring for the people around him. Um, some of the characters that he had uh, initial gripes with, issues with, have washed away in some ways. And we've seen Hans mature as he's getting um, more sick. He, he's, he's had to succumb to the um, medical practices and routines of the sanitarium in order to, um, the hope is, uh, help him get better. And about a year in, we've, we've had these events. Uh, Christmas has come and gone, and there's great, great scenes with um, Christmas. Um, there's Mardi Gras, so we get this um, kind of decadent, uh, free-for-all uh, party, uh, different things <laughs> happen at this party. Um, so t time's going by, and about, I don't know, maybe 400-some pages in, we've finally had a year go by, which is kind of amazing. The book is about 700 pages long, and we know that uh, Hans is... Uh, staying at the sanitarium for seven years and we're 400 pages in and only the first year has gone by and his cousin Joachim who initially when we when we first met him uh, was talking about how time acts differently at the sanitarium this is uh, right upon Hans's arrival at the beginning of the book and Hans made a suggestion that they leave together after three weeks. And Joachim um, kind of firmly or confidently says that he'll probably be staying another six months. He'd been there for six months. And so he's already thinking that he's going to be there a year. And a year has passed for Hans now. Uh, his cousin's been there a little bit longer than that. And finally, Joachim wants to leave. He, uh, Joachim and Hans have um, these temperamental, there, there's a few um, kind of uh, bursts of emotion uh, with Hans and Joachim, and then eventually when they descend back into this x-ray room, which they need to frequent, and Joachim says to the doctor, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving in a week. I can't stay here anymore. And the doctor is firmly against this and says, you, you need to stay here at least another, I can't remember, another three months. And after that, you can go, but not, not until then. And Joachim is firmly resolved that no, he, he has to go. And we get this great complex inner turmoil from Hans who feels as if maybe he's about to be abandoned his his cousin's gonna leave but now he has to stay uh, he says that Hans finally says to the doctor well I think I might go too and it's almost this uh, feigned empty threat that uh, he'll be leaving with his cousin and the doctor goes sure you can go and he goes, well, what about my tuberculosis? What about the thing in, the, in my chest? And the doctor goes, well, you know, you're, we're treating you, but yeah, you can go. Your cousin should stay. And um, 
it's the great thing about the book. The, 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 it gets deadly serious and uh, obtuse and uh, har hard to follow. We have these long essays that are just um, um, brilliant reflections on um, t 20th century culture and schools of thought and uh, history and uh, the arts and all of these kinds of things. And we have this allegorical sanitarium full of patients and it's ironic and serious and big. And then we also have these characters that we care about and we're following. And um, it can also feel intensely um, intimate and personal. It's, ama it's amazing. Um, and uh, last night I stopped, uh, the, the chapter that I'm about to read is Snow, which um, I remember was one of my favorite chapters. I, ha I haven't read it, um, I haven't read it in this session yet. Uh, it'll be what I'm gonna read tonight, but it's another one of Hans, it's another one of his walks. He, go he goes, he gets, I can't remember exactly, but he like, gets himself like stranded in a blizzard in one of these walks that he wants to go on um, because the uh, weather systems are so erratic that you never know what you're gonna get walloped with. Um, I, th I think, I can't remember, but um, so th that's all for now. I, I'm still enjoying the book. Um, I'm, I'm really interested to know how everyone is getting along, who's um, reading along. I, I, I do feel like um, about halfway through it can start to feel um, difficult, really, really difficult, and um, almost as if um, the, the, a worry that you might start losing interest in the book. It's there's still another you know, three hundred pages to go, and um, and I, I wonder how everyone's feeling with that. If they're, if they're still if you are still invested in um, the narrative and the characters, how you're finding these um, um, conversations um, on, on all sorts of different topics, uh, like I've said, the arts and medicine and science and philosophy and history, is it boring or are you really enjoying it? And um, just, getting into how um, how these conversations kind of flow through the story. Uh, I, I personally love it. Um, you can really get a sense of how th this is a book that can be returned to easily because um, be because of these digressions and essays that are woven throughout the story and kind of bunch up in the center. Um, that's all I'll say for now. I, I'm still greatly enjoying the book and it's uh, still great fun reading along with you. So um, leave a comment if you would like. Let me know uh, how you're getting along uh, with The Magic Mountain by Thomas Mann. Uh, so thank you.